Welcome back to Coasting Content, which is a series on how to become a better coaster YouTuber. If you missed the last episode, I suggest watching that because it has some good information on how to get started. This is episode 2, and in this episode we will be covering everything you need to know about content, with Elena from Coasterverse and TOG Coasters. Their channels will be linked down in the description below, so please go support them because it was really fun having them to help with the series. First off, we have Zero G Coasters covering the topic of long form videos. While shorts may be intriguing to grow your channel as they grow your subscriber count quickly, you might want to stay away from posting them a lot as they limit long form viewership and retention. It also doesn't count towards the 4,000 hours you need for monetization. With long form videos, you have more time to talk about your content, or if you don't want to talk at first, you can do something like a POV comparison, which can give a good boost at the start. However, you you might want to eventually talk in your videos, as it increases engagement with viewers. If you ever run out of ideas to upload, feel free to look at other coaster YouTubers you watch and ask them if you can do a series. Of course with credit given. Different content is very important when making videos in the coaster community. Uploading the same thing you've done before or the same thing someone else has done before is not going to get you anywhere. If you need to use someone else's idea and put a spin on it, then ask them for permission first. Nothing is worse than using someone else's idea without credit. Different content keeps your subscribers interested instead of them having to watch the same thing over and over. Don't limit yourself to one coaster or one park, be sure to vary your content. Originality ties into this a bit. Original content is from you and going to be the thing that makes you grow. If you just copy someone else, why would someone watch you rather than their original creator? If you make original content that nobody has seen before, it might catch people's attention and help your channels grow. One good way to make original content is to make a series. Covering this topic will be Elena from Coasterverse. Series are a great way to expand your channel. You could do a series of shorts, which I have a couple of, the most notable being one minute stats. But just like how Zero G Coasters mentioned earlier, shorts aren't the best if you want to keep audience retention. So series of long form videos are definitely for the best. It could be something as simple as a review, but you could put a twist on it to make it interesting. Or you could do coaster related challenges. The possibilities are endless, and you can add so much to your channel with just a single series. Series are a great way to boost your audience retention, and it will grow your channel. One thing that you do have to make sure of, though, is originality. You don't want to create a series that's already on YouTube, just like other long-form videos, even that aren't in a series. You want to stay original and make sure that you're not copying off of anyone else. YouTube is a place where a lot of great series are created, and it might be hard to come up with ideas for your said series, but you can't give up, and that's something that Element of the Ride will be covering. Here's the mic, Element. During your channel growth, it may seem like you aren't seeing the results that you were hoping for. When I first started, I think I was getting one subscriber every few weeks with less than 10 views per video. Sometimes the growth will be slow, but whatever you do, if you really want to see successful growth, you have to keep going. Don't give up. The first few weeks are going to be extremely slow, that's just how it is. Once you get past that, you should start to see some steady growth. There will be times later where it will speed up and slow down, but some of the biggest advice I can give you is to not give up. Don't let your voice, your face, if you decide to show it, and your style of content, anything like that, stop you from making content because that is what makes you, you. Personally, I don't like to hear my own voice in my videos, much like many other people I talk to, but it's okay to start if you're afraid of any of those reasons because I'm going to be honest, the Coaster community is truly nice. You're going to be fine. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you to Coasterverse and Zero G Coasters for helping out. I hope this video helps you guys out and your channel growth if you decide to start one now or if you already have one. I hope it helps you out. And this was episode 2 of the 4 episode series. The next episode will be out next Saturday so I hope to see you there.